The last time the Grizzlies were here, that game for two and a half quarters in many respects resembled the one that we saw here on Monday against the Spurs. And then Jalen Green had the dunk on Jaron Jackson Jr. igniting him. Rebound to Shin Goon. He'll lead the charge ahead, but the Grizzlies are back. Now Shin Goon decides to go ahead and all the way to the rim. There you go. There was a seam spun around the defender, got to the cup. Well, the big key here, I try to get Biombo as far away from Alpia as you can. He guarded him extremely well because of his strength and discipline defensively. Shin Goon didn't put up a whole lot of numbers either. He had 11 points, took nine shots, and another and one. This time it'll be Jalen Green. We're still down one with about five and a half minutes to go in the third quarter, and then of course the dunk, and then the Rockets ended up blowing them out as that jumper goes. It's one week from tonight on the, actually less than a week, on the 19th. He'll be back on the floor for the Grizzlies, and there goes the former MVP, Derrick Rose. Yeah, look right behind John Moran. I'd say Steven Adams by far the most important oh, Grizzly no that's missing. Screen setter, rebounder, a three goes down for Smith. He allows Jaron Jackson Jr. Yeah, this is a team that really packs the paint. So if you're going there, you got to run in early. But that's what they give up right there, those three-point looks. So it's important to knock them down. And you see those are the shots that are going to be open, those wing threes, especially here tonight. Memphis really helps off the nail area. And the leaner goes for Jaron Jackson. Oh, here. He, he played the, the, the forward and center position in college, but had to adapt his game to play on the wing. And another one for Dylan. Well, at the same time, the new she'd be a mega star. And again, you see Memphis really helps, and they give up those wide open here tonight for Derrick Rose, his sixth in a row. Tough shot there, and it hung on the rim and fell through for the Grizzlies. Roddy in the corner gets it to go. Believe it or not. In a tight ball game, you'll look back at a play like that and say that's how you end up winning a game. Brooks working on Zaire Williams on the other side, gets the layup to go. Against Ms. McDiambo, trust me, I know, probably one of the strongest guys, if not the strongest, that I've played against ever. A lot of early shots and yet another make there for Ronnie. He's not locked in on, on the offensive part. His defense is going to be there no matter what, and that's why Coach Udoka's kept going to him. It is back to the basket, then a spin move. And He's open. Jaron Jackson Jr. wasn't pretty, but it was effective. Yeah, he's got a bit of playing three on five momentarily. Now they get their full uh, complement of teammates with them. Here's Tari up top, and he buries the straightaway three. So one for team. Oh, oh, boy. Look out. Oh, he turns it over. And then all alone, there goes uh, Williams for the dunk. Those guys. And it's been working here in Houston so far. Oh, my goodness. Reggie Bullock Jr. getting into the game here. Missed the other one the other night because he was a single injury. Got to play the other night. Now he caught the bug that's been going around the Rockets locker room. Hope he feels better as Aldama's able to get the biggest lead. Another three there for Bullock, his second. Rose gets turned back. Aldama to Laravia. Back to him up top to three. Good. Craig, I can confirm we did get to keep. Nice bait and hook getting it to his left hand. Uh-oh, right to Tari Eason, the gift, and then he beats up oh, 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 oh. Just bully ball. Moravia to Aldama, into the lane, stripped away by Van Vliet, scooped up by Tate. Rockets have numbers. Tate, the lob, Eason, the slam. <laughs> In real time, it's tough to see, but it, it was. I mean, he's got to throw the ball down first, drop the ball. <laughs> And it oh, Rose goodness. takes it right to him. Derek Rose can get to that left hand all night long. The guys, the referees. Oh, push off? Nope. Yes. The soft bounce off the front of the rim there gets it to go. Pick and rolls. Boxing out all those things the Rockets have moved upon this year. Early in the season, the Rockets were getting beat on the glass. And then Coach Udoka had one of those old school practices with Vanessa Nodi. Rebounds over the last nine games. Almost nine rebounds per game at career high. Shouldn't do with the step and the score and the foul. There you go. Finally getting, you know, if he's in a high assist range, sometimes it's doing your job. You know, you're creating offense. You're getting good looks with the ball in your hands. That's, that's a, a big part of it. That'll count. Brooks got him. Free throw coming up. I think Anthony Edwards is. Okay. You, you were, you're throwing that out in Utah. You said he's the best. And Gobert was their best and most important. Well, this thing, the ball club is going to play hard no matter who's on the floor. A little gallop, some contact, bank shot in and one. 
Yeah. You love the aggressive. This rock his defense is for real. I've seen it a variety of different ways against a variety of different teams. And as that will go, and a good way for Triple J and the weather, like several of the Rockets were on Monday. And again, Amen Thompson, unfortunately, the latest guy who's out here tonight with an illness, and injuries, and so so on and so forth. Now it is a seven-point game. The Rockets were up 19 extremely well. Rose for three. Wow. It is now just a one-possession game. All Memphis here. And at times it's looked great. At times it is not. Tate will step through, goes with a left hand. What's needed, Puckett? Going on Biombo again. Let's see if Alfie can get anything. He does not. An air ball scooped out of the air, put back in. Plus the foul by Jay Shaw Tate. Right, the post game won't be there against Biombo. Green into the lane, throws it up and in, and there's another foul on Memphis, and another opportunity. The skip pass into the corner to Gilliard, and now they'll slow it up in the half court. No, they won't. The trailing three for Jackson goes down. You see he's frustrated just by his body language. Biombo's tough, man. Yeah, it's not chopped liver. Drop step and score for Jackson. That was a beautiful move there. Now, up up, but he's just getting to those left-hand laners all night. Coming off that 41-point game against Dallas, Tari Eason, three ball, and a timely one at that. They have struggled, struggled to yep. score, and Jaron Jackson's got his, got his guys right back in contention. Again, just a one-possession game. Memphis still very good defending in that regard. The kick out, Holiday's three. Put back Tari Eason. Really good defender and passer. Quick release there for Aldama in the middle of the lane, and a nice setup that time. Behind the back, nothing doing. Still with it, into Tari, back out to Holiday. Does he get it off in time? He does. Got it! Beats the shot clock. Van Vliet had a step, comes into the paint. Now to Green, doesn't take the three. And able to run it up and in himself. With that, Orlando's had a terrific start to this. I, I think from our standpoint, we know which teams were good, so it was a little tough. We always had a healthy team. The run out and the pass a little bit off. For Williams, if he would have finished that, Tari Eason finishes that. Wow, the look. Take note, though, Jaron Jackson Jr. saw Jeff Green, and he's the only guy he hesitated on. Contact Van Fleet, and it will go. His first make of the towards the Tari Eason's and Jayshon Tate's. 10 to 2 Rockets run, and rimming in the three was Jaron Jackson Jr., his third. third. He's staying out of foul trouble. He, in, in, in moments, is. Gotten into a lot of yes. foul trouble. His, in his career, he has been a guy who has gotten into a lot of foul trouble. And all of a sudden, Van Fleet is coming alive. A couple of advantage. Back up 10 here, Houston is with seven and a half to go. You, you just love, even if Jabari's not hit the shot, the ball's not in his hands. Soft touch off the glass. The run out, Tar Eason beats everybody down. 20 points for him, a season high. The prettiest always from Tari, but it is effective. Another one for Rose. There, yeah, Rose time. He was here in Houston. Jeff Green with a running start. Count it. Jeff Green, man, talk about a pro. Said, hey, Uncle, Uncle Jeff, uh -oh. let, let your nephew get a spin. I got Jackson. It was Easton again. <laughs> Should have been offensive the foul. Check again. Staying with it. Oh, and the prayer. It's a deep two, but Jay Jackson made it. Easton from 14. Short. Rebound, Smith. <laughs> Big thing, guys. There you go. Don't do it with Jaron Jackson Jr. Go in Arabia. There you go. <laughs> Tari Eason cans the three. Jabari with a double double. Comes into the paint and now has 20 and 10. Man, I'm dribbling display. He, he's, he gets the game ball, but he's going to get the turnover also. Maybe. Let's see what happens here. But another great night for Tari Eason, another very good fourth quarter for the Rockets after a very poor...